And uh, oh, watch. here we go. Oh, hello, Chris. Hi. You can hear me okay, right? I just yeah, I have no idea you. if this is set up right. We can hear you. How's the weather in Florida? You know, just a hurricane. It's cool. Nice. Oh, I sure hope nothing bad happens. I hear that I, interfe- I hear that interferes with internet, but let's try to be positive, okay? <laughs> no, it's on the other side, so I'm happy. Well, we're just getting win- we're just getting one. Well, let's pray that it gets. I mean, this is you. Hi, Crystal. How how is Florida going? <laughs> it's great. It's great. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't have my computer set up. I've been really busy with my new job, going to the uh-huh. beach, going to the pool. Yeah, uh, yeah. relaxing. I, I love that the you sun. put those in with job, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm glad you're here because we finally got to one that you watched, Terminator mm. Zero. I did. Okay. Uh, I found out about this a few months ago. It was like Netflix anime. I'm like, well, I don't care for both of those things usually. But then they went Terminator, and I went, huh? Okay. I'll check it out. Uh, It seems to be removed from all the John Connor stuff, which I like. Uh, This tells the story of a family in Japan. It's right before uh, Judgment Day. Original Judgment Day. So 1997. uh, Original first movie uh, timeline. Uh, And it's about how, like, humanity is dealing with robots. We see the future, the future war, uh, and Skynet going after people. Like, stuff that you've seen before. Uh, But in the past, we have this scientist who has developed his own AI and he's developed it because he knows about Skynet and he has to persuade it to counter Skynet's AI. Uh, So, yeah, there's this whole ticking clock element of like, are they going to stop Judgment Day or not? Are they going to change things? Uh, It's got fun action sequences. I only got four episodes in, uh, but I am pretty much hooked on it. I especially episode four, the way it ends, like I'm on pins and needles. I want to see where it goes. Um, we did a, what is the worst Terminator episode, uh, a few years back and look, I got a soft spot for three, but after that, it really takes a sharp dive off a cliff. Uh, but I was, that's why I wanted to check this out. Does Terminator, other than that one TV show, it hasn't really gone in too many, it hasn't, it's never gone in animation as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, Joey, what did you think of Terminator Zero? Uh, big Terminator fan. This was fucking awesome. Also side note. I also have a side, uh, soft spot for three. Great one. Ooh, uh, three is fun. Three is fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. Uh, zero is like, it's, it's great because it has like the best world building since I think like Terminator two. Uh, mm. and I think this like fresh new AI plot, like breathes new life into the series. Um, and, and I feel like moving this to a series format was best because there's so many time traveling paradoxes and pl- and holes that are just so confusing and hard to fit into like a two hour movie. Um, I only watched a couple of episodes, but I'm actually really excited to to watch more. This this is really fucking awesome. I've never watched anime before, and I really don't watch any animation since Woody Woodpecker, of course. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, this was since great, the last man. time you've watched it because you've yeah, watched exactly. it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> this was awesome, That's- man. <laughs> It's no Woody Woodpecker, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, Gil, where did you land on Terminator Zero? Is it the best Terminator since 2? Yeah, I think there's no question about that. It's admittedly not a super high bar, uh, but I, I like this show a lot. Um, there were, I think I stopped just short of loving it, and I think I can kind of encapsulate why in one scene from episode one, where it's a rainy day, Malcolm is driving to the office, and then he sees this robot walking across the street. And it's very melancholy because he knows Judgment Day is right around the corner. And the robot kind of turns and looks at him and they make eye contact. It's very melancholy music. It's very foreboding. It's a great vibe. And then the driver goes, there's a storm coming in. And Malcolm's like, you have no idea. So I think some of the dialogue's a little bit well, cringy. I and mean, some- that is how the first Terminator ends, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> there's a storm coming and then sarah's okay. like you there's no a storm idea. coming is okay and then tagging it with like ah oh, you have no idea that's just like in the continental where they're like do you have any luggage for us and she's like oh you have no idea <laughs> that's what they do it's her i'm annoyed because it was a callback that you didn't really yeah. need there is one where uh the girl goes he'll be back and i'm like huh, okay. yeah but the Not thing is there's a lot of storytelling and dialogue like that where it's a little bit clunky like i, I would yeah. say the entire storyline where Malcolm's talking to the AI. I love the concept of it. Yeah. There are some great emotional moments in their conversation, but when you actually listen to the words they're saying, 
I think I can imagine a great version of this, but it would have to be written by like a great sci-fi writer, like Arthur C. Clarke or something, where it's a guy arguing on behalf of humanity with an AI. But I feel like in this show too often, it just sounds like it was written by an angsty teen that just discovered nihilism, where she's mm. like, name one good thing humanity has ever done. He's like, Kokoro, I can't do that. <laughs> and so you can't name one, one thing. Um, so it just, it's a little bit cheesy in the storytelling sometimes, but I think on vibes with uh, the acting and some of the action is great. I love that they bring back the horror elements mm -hmm. where the Terminators will often have this very uncanny valley look on their faces because there are certain points where they try to fit in and yeah. it's just super creepy. Uh, so overall, I liked it. Um, it was actually, so Mattson Tomlin ran this show and he worked on the Batman. I almost felt about this very similar to how I felt about the, that movie, where okay. if you dig into the substance, it kind of falls apart a little bit, but tonally it's so good and I enjoy it all the way through. It's just when you start to pick it apart, some, yeah. some of it falls apart. Well now, uh, Crystal, what are, what are your thoughts? I don't Do you like Terminator? Do you watch the movies? I don't even know. But what do no, you I'm a girl. This? I don't watch action movies. <laughs> do you even like robots? Do you even know What's what a, a robot, robot is? <laughs> huh? I'm confused. Um, no, yeah. I loved it. I actually had no idea. I just saw the list of your movies, Tony. I didn't look into any single one of them. I had no idea what any of them were. Didn't look at the preview. Didn't look at uh, even a description. Any of them. So yeah. I turned this on. I was like, oh, shit, it's a cartoon. Sweet. And it was like very, yes, animated um, mm -hmm. as anime. And I was like, this is awesome. I was like, OK, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to watch one episode. I don't have time to watch the others. I binge watched the entire season. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't help it. I was hooked in in the first five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I at first thought it was nothing but a gory action anime. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden there's this story that's developing. And I was like, oh shit, like this is definitely a little bit more intense and involved than I was anticipating. And I just got hooked more and more because the story was definitely evolved every single episode. Wait, I had a question. Girl who goes back in time to fight the Terminators. Did I miss something? Is she enhanced like the lady in the last Terminator movie? Or is she just a normal lady? There's no indication that she's enhanced or anything. Well, here's an indication. The Terminator is like punching her in the yeah. spine. I'm like, she should be dead. That's she my. Should. That was one of my complaints with the action is that I feel like the Terminators in general are too weak and a little bit yeah. inconsistent. Like when the first episode started, they do the classic thing where the Terminator is shooting at her with a machine gun mm -hmm. and she's running and all the bullets are landing right behind her. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, as a robot, shouldn't you know? You don't shoot where they are. You shoot where they're going to be. <laughs> well, they also talked about later that the Terminators aren't perfect. Mm -hmm. And they definitely take the worst of humanity, but I don't think that they're truly perfect because if they were, they would have already destroyed humanity. Yeah. Like they are, there's clearly some things because they keep doing that loop where they are going back in time and just kind of cycling over and over the same thing, but yet they don't succeed. Mm. So there definitely is some imperfection, which I do like that they're not the perfect human, you know, yeah. destroyers. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely do agree that some of the lines were cheesy, but I didn't, it didn't bother me. It mm. kind of brought it, uh, the seriousness kind of back. I had a little bit more fun with it because uh, there was a lot of seriousness in it, especially with the kids. Um, but I, I loved it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was interesting seeing that, like, robots already exist in the 90s, because that was, as far as I can tell, was never part of, like, the lore, really. Uh, so that was kind of fun to see. Um, yeah, but really, it was the conversations, even though they co could have been better written, between Wait, him and the AI, what? It says Rosario Dawson. Who, who, who was Rosario Dawson's voice? She was the AI, Kokoro. She was the AI. What? Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> what? Timothy... Is Timothy Oliphant the I Terminator? Because I haven't heard him yeah. say a goddamn thing. Yeah, he doesn't yet. talk very much. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't talk very much. Why even get him? What the hell? <laughs> well, I kind of felt the same way about Rosario Dawson afterward. I'm like, she did a great job, yeah. but her voice is like so modified to sound like a robot. Yeah. Where I'm like, I don't know that you needed her necessarily, but she did a good job. <laughs> I had no idea until money. I just saw that. Yeah. Until I saw the top. Um, yeah. What did you guys think of the ending, though? Do you think it ended well? 
I didn't get to the ending. I, I haven't seen it. Anyone who actually watched it. Yeah, Any, I saw. I yeah. saw it to the end. I mean, I, I like the ending. Um, I think it works okay as as a total ending. Um, but I would like if they continue it on to a second season. Like he said, uh, Matt and Tomlin that he wants like five or six seasons of it. I can see that. I mean, it leads off as if there's going to be more, For especially sure, yeah. the very last shot. Um, I think the I, very, very, I don't want to spoil it, but right before don't. the end, when the big part happens, <laughs> yeah, don't. I wasn't the happiest of how that happened. If yeah, that's enough I, yeah. secretive, but not spoiling. <laughs> Crystal, the rule on this show is to not spoil anything except for that Cape Blanchett turns into a firebird. <laughs> um, that's the only thing we're allowed to spoil on uh, this episode. Yeah, I think uh, uh, if I'm thinking of the right thing, Crystal, I, I think I remember feeling like there were sometimes unclear stakes for big moments. So yes. when they happened, they didn't land properly. I agree. And then it's like I agree. The, the, the music and the visuals somehow override that and they get yes. me to feel what I'm supposed <laughs> to be feeling. Yes. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I feel it. <laughs> Agree a thousand percent. But um, you're right, because I'm a bigger fan of the first Terminator movie. More people like the second one. So what you were saying about bringing the horror elements back, I like that when, like, they basically redo the scene where he goes through the police station from the first film. Yeah. But uh, it's way bloodier. Uh, the action is top notch. I love, like, the whole truck chase. That was really cool. The uh, anime so is just beautiful. The style yes. of anime, beautiful. It's very, well, it's very well animated. It looks really, really great. Uh, yeah, and one thing that's got me in the mood recently for this, um, I can't find my copy of it, but I went back and got the game Terminator Resistance. Mm. It's from the same people who did RoboCop Rogue City, which I loved last year. Everyone told me to go back and check out Terminator Resistance, and thank you for the recommendation. That game is great. So I, I had just started playing that, like, coincidentally, so I'm, like, in Terminator mode. <laughs> Uh, so that really enhanced uh, my viewing of this. But yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to finish the season. Uh, they got something good here. And like whenever a Terminator thing comes out that doesn't suck, everyone says it's the best thing since part two. But for me, I do think this is the best thing since part two. Because uh, that's how people were pitching Dark Fate to me, guys. They were like, Tony, you got to see Dark Fate. And I went, why? The last two were really bad. And they're like, no, no, it's the best one since two. And I'm like, that means absolutely nothing. To me. uh, the last two were really bad. Literally. Guys, I, I watched Dark Fate and uh, it was really bad. It was really bad. <laughs> but that girl being enhanced, who we're about to talk about in the next film, uh, is why I thought maybe this chick was enhanced. Because, like, the Terminator is punching her in the back. I'm like, isn't he, like, three tons? Shouldn't her spine be shattered? <laughs> um. But yeah, that's all I got to say on Terminator. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, apparently, it the whole series is good, so check it out. And next up... Uh, oh, God. Sorry. I forgot to show a picture of that guy. And that guy... Oh, I had slides <laughs> to talk about the things we were talking about. Well, there's an example of the gore. <laughs> Chris, oh, there's put... way better uh, examples of the gore. Are you I kidding know, me? I know, I know. Oh my god, the gore like was another level. It was pretty cool. 